shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Chris out on the gold wing out on the gold wing and today today is sunday august 25th and today is a monumental occasion today i would like to report that i have reached 10,000 subscribers 10,000 subscribers i put out over 8 800 videos, 800 videos, that comes up to about 4.5 million views, so I would like to just pat myself on the back because today I am celebrating reaching over 10,000 subscribers, and it feels good to be out on the gold room. So how is everybody doing this morning? I just decided to get out, get a little stroll, get a little ride in today. You know, I was thinking about a lot of people really don't know how hard uh, motor vlogging really is. You know, there's a lot of different social media outlets out there. You know, some people are on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, they have all different types of social media outlets uh, for me I, I am only on Facebook and I'm only on YouTube the thing about Facebook is that it is a little bit easier than YouTube because when you're trying to moto vlog it is a lot harder than it looks with Facebook you just take your phone you hit Facebook live you hold up the phone you take a selfie you shoot it out there over the airways. It doesn't matter what you're saying. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can be sitting in your kitchen eating a sandwich. You can be sitting in your garage. You can be sitting in church. It doesn't matter with Facebook. That's Facebook Live. And it's a good thing. It's a lot of people out there on Facebook. So what's up to everybody out there on my Caliente Goldwing Riders group and Darksiders. So what's up, everybody out there that's in my Facebook group? I appreciate all you guys. Somewhere around uh, 2.8 thousand members on the Facebook group. So I don't want to leave you guys out. So shouts out to all you guys that support me on Facebook. But Facebook is easy. Facebook, man, you take your cell phone, you hold it up, and you can film anything. It doesn't matter. And you go live and people watch. It's, they watch it because it's convenient. They watch it because it's there. You don't have to put in a lot of work for Facebook, you know. But YouTube, that is another story. YouTube is another beast. This is the difference between YouTube. On YouTube, you actually have to go out and purchase cameras. You have to go out and purchase quality cameras. If you purchase a cheap camera, then your resolution is not going to be clear you're not going to get that clear picture like you see here today so you need to get a quality camera then you're going to need a quality microphone because you want people to be able to hear what you're saying if they can't hear what you're saying then they're not going to watch then you actually have to get out on the motorcycle while it's dangerous ride around and entertain people you actually have to capture their attention I'm gonna change lanes up here. Look like we got a, another police car. We got the police working this morning, y'all. I support law enforcement. Shouts out to all the law enforcement guys. You guys got a dangerous job. You guys got a dangerous job out here, especially out here in Memphis. One of the top 10 dangerous cities in the country. I think we was ranked like number two or number three. We might've moved up in the numbers. If anybody's from Memphis watching this video, would you please tell me what are we ranked on the FBI? top dangerous cities in the country this is where i grew up been here all my life y'all but let me get back to my story youtube 
You got to buy your cameras. You got to have some good high resolution. You got to have a good microphone and you got to have a good grabber. And you have to ask yourself, why would people watch me? So you got to record your content while being out on a motorcycle, which is dangerous in itself. You got to watch all of the traffic, pay attention to what's going around you, what's in front of you, what's on the side of you, what's behind you. You actually have to pay attention to what you're doing. At the same time, you got to be conscious of your conversations and the words that you're using. So when you're motor vlogging, it's a lot going on. I know it looks easy. Some of you may be sitting back on your, your couch. You got your feet kicked up. You're watching your boy on YouTube and the television. You got that 7.1 surround system cranked up, THX certified, and you're listening to your boy Chris out on the go wing, and you're thinking, man, I feel like I'm out there with him. You're thinking to yourself, man, this is easy. You're thinking to yourself, man, I should do this, and it can be done, but it's not as easy as it looks. Anytime somebody is good at what they're doing, it makes it look easy. Michael Jordan made it look easy, but I promise you, Go out on the floor and try to do the moves Michael Jordan was doing. And you will learn that it's not that easy. Like this guy coming around me. So you got to pay attention while you're on the gold wing. You got to be able to watch your surroundings. And you got to be entertaining so it's not as easy as it looks. And then once you record all of your content, now you got to take it home. You got to upload it to a computer then you have to take that same file put it over in editing software and you have to edit so you have to learn how to do all of those things I'm not saying motor vlogging is impossible I'm saying that it's not as easy as it looks it's not as simple as people may think you guys see me out here riding or you may see other motor vloggers out here riding as well. And you say to yourself, man, that's easy. I can do that. That's really simple. You know, you're out here with the big trucks. You're sharing the road. I'm going to change lanes. I don't want to be riding next to the big oversized load. And it looks easy. I'm out here near Hollywood. What's up? Everybody out here in Hollywood, out here off exit five. Out here in the Frazier, Raleigh area. Law enforcement out this morning representing Memphis finest. So I said all that to say this. I am thanking God this morning that I have been able to create over 800 videos and I've reached over 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. That comes up to about 4.5 million YouTube views. So congratulations to myself. I'm patting myself on the back. Nothing wrong with congratulating yourself sometimes. I have an old saying, he that doesn't toot his own horn, his horn may not get tooted. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. But I'm feeling good out here in the Memphis area. What's up, Fraser area? Out here on 40 westbound, around exit 2A, out here in the Memphis area. My hometown. This is where I grew up, y'all. I've been here all my life. So I'm just out here cruising this morning. I thank God for my health and for my strength. I thank God for all my YouTube viewers. I thank God for all my YouTube subscribers, all my Facebook followers. I just thank God this morning for just keeping me here, shielding me and protecting me, and just keeping me in the game to help entertain you guys. It's not easy as it looks, y'all. I promise you. And let me add this to the mix. Once you get all of that done, you put in all of this work, you went out and spent all of this money on expensive cameras. You spent all this money on audio equipment. You spent all this money on a computer to upload your images and your files and your vlogs. And you spent all the, you spent money on editing software. You spent money on all of the things you did for your YouTube channel to have somebody to sit there and maliciously thumbs down your vid just because you created a video. They thumb down your vid 
just because you're doing something that they can't do. They thumbing down your vid because, as the young folks say, they hate him. That's not right, y'all. If you're watching anybody's video, I don't care if it's my video, I don't care if it's who, I don't care who video it is. It doesn't even have to be motor vlogging. Don't maliciously thumb down their vid because you don't know how much the person went through to, to actually create that vid. You may not like the vid and that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly well. Everybody may not like your video. That's just part of the territory, but don't maliciously thumb down the video. And then every video may not be for you. You know, if a guy decides to put on his video channel, how to assemble a barbecue grill, that may not be for you. That may be for somebody that's thinking about buying a barbecue grill. So don't thumb down that guy's vid just because, oh, I don't like the fact that this guy made a video assembling a barbecue grill. Well, that video may not be for you. That video may be for somebody. That video actually may help someone. It may not help you, but it may help someone. So don't insult the content creator because you don't like the video because it didn't suit your needs. Every video is not for you. That's what I want people to understand. If I make a video putting a roof hatch on my enclosed trailer, that video may not be for you. That may be for somebody that has an enclosed trailer that wants to put a hatch on their roof. So I'm just using that for example. So you guys, it, it gets, sometimes it gets stressful when you try to create content and you try to help people, you try to put information out there and people maliciously thumb down your video. I mean, it's ridiculous, man. It is ridiculous. But you know, I, I, have, I have people tell me all the time, well, if they're not hating, then or how do they put it? If people are hating on you, then you're doing something right. And that's true, I believe that. I believe that. I'm gonna change lanes. Get off the side of me. So you had, and again, there I go about motor vlogging. You got people that uh, will ride on the side of you. They're not paying attention. And you're on a motorcycle, which is dangerous in itself. And then you got to be creative. You got to create the content and you got to be safe all at the same time. It's not what you think, people. It's not what you think. I know some of you say, I can do it. It's easy. I can do it. It's not as simple as you think. And you put all of your time and energy into the video just to have somebody thumb it down, just to have somebody go. I don't like that video. Thumbs down. No reason, no rhyme or reason, as they say. Just They just thumb down the video just because they can. Every accessory on my bike, 99% of all the accessories on my bike, I paid for out of my pocket. Nobody sponsored me with anything. The only people that sponsored me was Senna. Senna was the only people that gave me some free headsets. Nobody else sponsored me. All of the products on my bike, every light, with the exception of Electrical Connection. Shouts out to Electrical Connection. If you guys will be looking for me at Wingding, I'll be over at Electrical Connection. Electrical Connection did give me uh, some replacement lights. All of my accessories I paid for out of my pocket. All of them. All of my gear, all of my helmets, I paid for out of my pocket. All of my cameras, all of my GoPro cameras. 99% of all the accessories that you see on my bike, all of the videos that I did, I paid for out of my pocket. Somebody made a comment that maybe Honda gagged me. You cannot gag a person that's not on your payroll. Honda has not gagged me. How, how could they gag me? I'm not on their payroll. They haven't gave me one dime. They haven't promised me anything. So how can they gag me? So I just wanted to just, uh, just throw that up there. I wasn't going to respond to that because you can't respond to everything. Trolley tracks or something else, man. You're not careful. You can 
You can mess up here. You don't want to get your front wheel caught in the trolley track. That will not be a good thing. So I just want to put that out there to, to you guys. How can you, how can you gag a person and they're not on your payroll? I'm, I'm still trying to figure that out. See, people will say anything. People will say anything. If it sounds good, they'll say it. You know, they don't care. They'll just say it. Oh, you know, you, you must be, you know, you must be paid off. Uh, a Honda must have gagged you. No. No. Nobody gagged me. Nobody's paying me. Everything I do, I do it out of my own pocket. Every accessory, every video, 99% of everything was paid for out of my pocket, including the bike, including the gold wing. So Honda, if you're watching this video, if you're watching, since we're on the subject of Honda, if you're watching this video, Honda, if you want to sell some 2018 gold wings, you want to sell some 2019 gold wings and you serious about it. You really want to sell some of these bikes. You want to move some inventory. If you guys was watching my YouTube channel and not sleeping, you would have sent one of those bikes over to me and let me keep it for a couple of years. With all of the bikes that I helped sold for Honda, you probably should have given me a free bike. You should probably have donated a free bike. I'm going to speak to the police this morning and say good morning to them. Good morning, Mr. Officer. How you doing, man? I'm just saying good morning. Support, I support law enforcement. All right, man. Appreciate your service, man. Man, when you out here, speak to the police. Let them know they're doing a good job because let me tell you something, man. They got a stressful job as it is. Those guys work hard, and they have a stressful job. They have a stressful job. It's dangerous, and they're regular people just like you and I. They want to go home to their families at the end of the day just like you and I. So when you're out there, speak to the police. All police are not bad. All police are not out to get you. But, you know, we got laws. We got to follow the rules. Right? We got to follow the rules. So when the cops pull you over, he's just doing his job. That's what he does. Don't give him a hard time. I'm out here at Bill Street. This is Bill Street. They out here early this morning. What's up now? That's a gold wing, my brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. They got it closed off up in here? I think I may take a little cruise down to Bill Street there. I know they got it. They may have it closed off. Then. I appreciate y'all, man. Out here on Bill Street, y'all. This is it, the world-famous Bill Street. I know y'all watch a lot of videos. I hadn't been down here this year. I don't get down here that much, down here to Bill Street. But I'm just out here cruising today, out here thanking God for my health and my strength and thanking God for all my subscribers, all of my YouTube viewers, all of my followers. I've reached over 10,000 subscribers. I put out over 800 videos, and my videos have been viewed over 4.5 million views. That's about 4.5 million views in uh, YouTube vids. So I'm just out here cruising, out here on Bill Street. No bikes out today. If you guys want to see a bunch of bikes, come on out here on Wednesday night. There's the FedEx Forum over to my right where the uh, Memphis Grizzlies uh, play. So I'm just out here cruising. And hopefully Honda's watching my channel. If you guys want to sell some gold wings, you really want to sell some 2018, 2019 gold wings. You may want to ship one my way. <laughs> Until then, I'm sticking to this GL 1800, the most luxurious motorcycle in the world. Hands down. And there is AutoZone Park where the Redbirds play down here in downtown Memphis. 
So Honda, if you want to sell some gold wings, you might want to think about what I said. Because I'm not gagged. Nobody, I'm not on anybody's payroll. I hadn't seen a check from Bridgestone. I hadn't seen a check from Honda. Ain't nobody promised me anything. I do what I do to just help people. I enjoy making videos. I do it free out of my pocket. And I just want to put that out there for you guys. So when you're watching somebody's YouTube channel, don't be sitting there arbitrarily thumbing down the video. If you don't, the old, let me tell you what the old folks used to say. The old folks used to say, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say nothing at all. That's what the old people used to say. And I, I believe that, you know, I grew up, man. I like the way the older our elders did things, you know, the young people, man, you know, it's, you know, like thumbs down, thumbs up, you know, and speaking of liking and thumbs down, thumbs up from this point forward. Now you can thumb down my video, but no one will see it. So you can thumb it down all you want. The only person that will see it will be me. And the only way I see it, I have to go into the device manager of YouTube and I have to actually find it. And believe me, I'm not going to be looking. So it doesn't matter if you don't like this video. It doesn't matter if you thumb down the video. If you want to support my channel, just watch the video. You don't have to thumb it up. You don't even have to thumb it down. Now, I will say in my videos, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. I will say that. But if you don't thumbs up, that's fine. Just as long as you watch. If, you're not, if you don't watch it, that tells me you're not supporting me. So if you want to support me, watch the video. If you don't want to support me, don't watch the video. You can leave a comment down in the comment section. If, if you don't like my video for whatever reason, then say it. Then just say what it is you don't like. But don't just arbitrarily thumb down my video just for the sake of thumbing down. I put up one video, it was 30 minutes long. They thumbed down 12 minutes into after I uploaded. So it was, how could you watch the entire video and thumb down in, in 12 minutes when you hadn't even seen the entire video? So you got people out there that will maliciously thumb down your videos. So it don't matter if you're watching my videos. It doesn't matter if you're watching Memphis Mike videos or Carnell Lucky videos or Cruise Man Garage videos. Or it doesn't matter who video you're watching. Don't do that. And let me, uh, let me say this for the record. And this is the honest to God truth. This is the honest to God. And, and you guys might not even believe me when I'm saying this. Uh, there's a bus. I used to ride the bus when I was a kid. I had a bus pass. It was... Uh, we used to do transfer at 10 cents. But that's another story for another day. Let me tell you this, and this is the honest God truth. Ever since, I've, since YouTube has been around, I don't know how many years it's been around. It ain't been a long, long time. But I have never, not one time, ever clicked a thumbs down. I've never done that on anybody's video. I don't care if I don't like you. I will not thumb down your video. If I want to support somebody, I'll watch the video. If I don't like it, I just won't watch the video. If I want to comment, I'll leave a comment. If, it, if I felt it was something that needed to be said, then I will put it in the comment section. But as far as thumbing up and thumbing down, I've never thumbs down anybody's video. The old folks say, if you don't have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. And I believe that. I, I, I really believe that. And I stand behind that. I've never in my life ever thumbs down anybody's video. I don't care what it was. If it was something that I didn't agree with, I just didn't look at it anymore. But I don't just maliciously thumb down people's video. So I just want to put that out there. I know you guys may not believe me, but that's the honest to God truth on my parents' grave. I've never thumbs down anybody's video. MPD is working. They out here working this morning. I tell you what, man, this is one of the top 10 dangerous cities in the country. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is why I grew up, y'all. They law enforcement stronger around here, man. They got to be. And I support law enforcement. But anyway, I don't want to just keep taking up all of your time and be rambling this morning. I know this is a long video. Motovlogging is not what people think it is. Facebook is easy. YouTube, you got to work. So when a content creator creates a video, either have something good to say or don't say none at all. And if it's something you just really need to say, even if it's bad, then say it. 
but don't just maliciously thumb down people's video just because you don't like something. Just be, you hating because you ain't, you're not out there on the bike making videos. You don't know how hard it is for a person to do that. And it's been hard, but I've, God has blessed me to get it done. I've created over 800 YouTube videos. I picked up over 10,000 subscribers and my videos have been viewed around 4.5 million views. So it's a monumental occasion for your boy Caliente this morning. It's a monumental occasion and I just wanna thank each and every one of you as I cruise the streets of Memphis out here on 240 Southbound where I grew up. It don't matter what people say about me. We grew up poor, we grew up without nothing. I came from nothing. We grew up poor, y'all. You probably heard me talk about it. I mean, I can remember sometimes our lights would get cut off. You know, we'd be in the middle of whatever we're doing, all of a sudden the power goes out. You wonder what happened? You look outside, you see Memphis like gas and water cutting out the cutting off the lights because my parents didn't have money to pay the bill. And one of my brothers, who's deceased now, he's been deceased about, I guess, since the mid-90s. He would, when light gas and water would drive off, he'll go outside and he would break the little uh, tab off the breaker box and turn the power back on. They came out and disconnected our power so many times that they disconnected us from the pole. They actually sent out a lineman. He climbed up the pole. He took some bolt cutters and cut the line on the house. That's how poor we was. Now, when I, at the time when I was a kid, I, I don't know, I probably was five, six years old at that time. I was a kid. I didn't know any better. And I knew our lights was getting cut off. I learned how to turn the power back on back then because we were just that poor. We was in survival mode, man. It was cold in the house. We had an old wood burning stove. And my mother put a pipe. She took a tin sheet and put it because my daddy was never around. So my mother took a, a, a tin uh, some metal, just like on my uh, video where I did the uh, enclosed trailer where you saw me cut the, the square out of the trailer. If you haven't watched that video, watch that video of me in in, uh, installing that roof vent on the enclosed trailer. But when you see me cut that tin and cut that square hole, my mother had some, I don't, I guess she got it from the hardware store. She got that tin and stuck it up to the window. And they took the, they took a pipe kind of like the pipe on, on the top of a hot water tank, that, that vent pipe on top of a hot water tank. They made a pipe to come out of the wood burning stove and elbowed it out of the window. And we used to go up on South Third Street up here by Interstate Barbecue. I know you guys heard of Interstate Barbecue. We would go up here and they gave us free wood. It was a place up here at the time. I don't know if they made furniture. I'm not sure I was a kid, but they had piles of wood. And we would go up there and get the wood and we would take that wood home and we would put it in the wood burning stove. And that's how we stayed warm. We had so much smoke coming out of our windows that the fire department would show up at our house on a routine basis. Can you imagine how embarrassing that is? You at home trying to stay warm and next thing you know, here 10 fire trucks coming down the road and you saying to yourself, who house on fire? And they're coming to your house because you got all this smoke out in front of your house. That's how poor we was as a kid. Welfare, food stamps. It was poor, man. We used to have to go borrow sugar from the neighbor. I can remember my mother used to send me next door to go borrow flour. We would go, she would send me next door to go borrow washing powder. You know, that's how poor we was. So I said all that to say this. It doesn't matter what you guys say about me. It doesn't matter what you think about me. You can call me anything you want, just don't call me late for dinner. It doesn't matter what people say about me. They've been talking about me my whole life. Oh, Chris is arrogant. Chris is cocky. Chris is, uh, he wearing, he's self-centered. He got a shirt with his own face on it. And, you know, man, they've talked about me. They talked about me so much at, when I was a kid in school that the teacher would laugh. That's hard on a kid. We, we didn't have bullying. All my clothes came from Goodwill and the rumor sales. You guys know the big 
room and sale down there at third and rings they used to have i don't even know if it's still down there but if it's still there if you guys here in town you know what i'm talking about my clothes didn't come from a store all of my stuff came from goodwill yard sales everything was used my mother we would dr drive down the street and see an old mattress and we tied onto the top of the car and take it back home we grew up poor man and I know a lot of you can relate to that. You know, we forget, forget about those days because that's, that was a long time ago. But that's the type of environment that I grew up in. I'm not going to put all our business out there. There's another MPD officer, boy. MPD working this morning. What's up, MPD? MPD working this morning. So they talked to, and then we would go up to the school to get free lunches. They had a lunch truck come by. And if we didn't go up to the school and get free lunch sometime, we didn't even have food to eat, man. Right out here in Memphis, the top 10 dangerous city in the country. Dr. King was assassinated right up the street. Right up the road, man, Dr. King was assassinated. And you had a nerd to thumb down my video every time you watch me. But that's all right. Like I said, I've been talked about my whole life. I've been at the bottom of the barrel, down in the gutter, and look at and look where God has brought me. Look where he's brought me. So it doesn't matter if you don't like me. It doesn't matter if you thumb down my video. It don't matter if you think I'm arrogant or cocky. It don't matter if you think I'm an a-hole. It really don't matter what you think. Because you know what? The people that really know me, the people that really have spent time with me, they know the kind of man I really am. So it don't matter what you think. So I just want to put that out there for all you guys. I did I I know I'm on my soapbox. This video been going for quite a while now, but I just wanted to just share with you guys and let you guys know I appreciate each and every one of you. All of my viewers, all of my subscribers, all of my Facebook followers, everybody that support my channel, my Facebook, everything that I put out. I appreciate each and every one of you. I even appreciate my haters watching my videos. They 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 like my videos so much that they hate him because they can't stop watching. Because I'm the kind of person that if I don't like something, I'm I'm not going to look. I'm just sorry. I'm not going to do it. So if you don't like what you're watching, just don't watch. It's that simple. It's not hard. But you can't do it, can you? You can't turn it off, can you? You let me see what Chris is doing. Let me see what Chris is up to. Man, I hate I, I don't like that. I, I don't like it because I can't do it. So let me thumb down the video. It's all right. I appreciate you too. <laughs> anyway, I'm just out here rambling on my soapbox this morning. Today is Sunday, August 25th. I'm out here cruising out on the gold wing out here in the Memphis area. The most luxurious motorcycle in the world until somebody can prove me wrong. If you're riding a GL1800, you got the most luxurious motorcycle in the world, in my opinion. Honda, if you want to sell some 2018, 2019, you may want to ship one my way and let me keep it. Because from what I've seen, <laughs> woo! y'all going to make me start preaching this morning. Well, anyway, I appreciate all you guys. One more time, congratulations to myself for reaching over 10,000 subscribers, creating over 800 YouTube videos. My videos have been viewed nearly 4.5 million views, and I appreciate each and every one of you for watching and supporting my video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you hit the thumbs down, I won't see it anyway. Ha, ha, ha! Well, anyway... I'm going to end this video before my battery dies. I'd like to thank God this morning, and I'd like to thank each and every one of you for supporting my video. And I will see you guys at Wingding coming up soon. Well, anyway, this is your boy Chris out on the gold wing, out on the gold wing, the most luxurious motorcycle in the world, hands down. And I will, as always, I will talk to you guys later. See you.